Hi everybody. Uh, I created a video to show how to install the Salt Mod and the Custom Shaders patch for a set of course a few months back. Uh, but many things have changed since and I'm gonna show you how to perform the installation from scratch in this new video. Uh, the first, first thing you have to do is download the content manager for a Cedar Corsa and you don't need the paid version anymore to perform the installation. You download, save the zip file somewhere in your hard drive, unzip it, open up the exe file and you're gonna have the content manager installed already. Open it up and under content settings, under settings, you see install custom shaders patch. So you click here and it's gonna install the recommended version, which is 0.1.25 preview 140. That's the version they installed first on your computer. Uh, I'm gonna replace this preview 140 for the latest uh, 198. To do so, you click here and it's gonna download and install for you automatically. Takes a while. The way it is installed now, uh, the procedure is completely different than the procedure I pointed out in the earlier video. That's why I'm gonna show you how to do that because uh, change it a lot. Okay, so the updated is successfully. The next step is um, under this patch tab, you click on car configs and in this uh, three little dots in the right upper corner, you click here and this is enabled uh, automatically, which is recommended. But if you see something like this, install one entry, you click here and it goes is going to make this automatically for you. Uh, we'll install something that is missing. If you don't have, if you never did this, it will install probably all those files here for the first time. It only installed the, uh, the one you saw now because uh, it was missing, all right? I'm gonna do the same here. Do the same on tracks configs. Same thing. Uh, if you never did this, it will install for all the, the tracks. Tracks val. Same thing. For me, uh, they are already installed. backgrounds and that's it well we have the custom shaders patch already installed now next step is close this content manager I'm gonna provide the links for for you to download the, the mods I already downloaded the one I'm gonna install is the Sol 1.3.2 release candidate one you open this and you're gonna see four folders in it 
you navigate to your Acero Corsa main installation folder and you get these four folders and drag it over you're gonna be prompt to replace the files in the installation folder because I already had a previously version of it so I'm gonna click replace and every time you're gonna update this you you do the same procedure you reinstall saw dragging the files over and clicking to overwrite them Okay, that's it. It's all installed and probably everything is working fine. I'm gonna check it out. Over here I did some uh, previously uh, settings to, to my computer. I'm gonna change for monitor uh, only to make a, a test, a quick test. And there are some things you have to do here on the custom shaders patch uh, settings you, ha you have to change something here uh, I'm gonna provide the link to the guide so you can check all the things that the, the developer uh, indicates you to change and I'm gonna click uh, I'm gonna take a Kuno's car uh, let's see, let's get the Audi and Spa, few clouds and let's put this way. working fine. Under this side panel you're gonna see three uh, things. Uh, you can change the, the date, the time and many other things uh, regarding to the saw mod. I'm gonna talk about this in another video but for you, just for you to have an idea what you can change and under here right I hope you enjoy the video and that the video is useful for you somehow thanks a lot guys see you next time thanks for watching and if you have any comments uh, just cast a comment in the section below and I'm gonna do everything to answer every one of you thanks a lot